the property of the equality, I mean, right, if you do one operation to the left side of your equation, you also do it to the right side, and then your left side still equals right side, okay? So let's see, okay, I have a equal five there, and then we are going to do same operation to both sides. What operation you can think of? Subtract. Subtract, okay. What you want to subtract from A? Mm, I don't know. Think of a number, pick a number. Three. Three, okay, that's good. So you subtract from A, three, all right. And then according to what I said before, right side, if you want to keep the C equation, left side still equals right side, what you need to do to the right side of your equation? Subtract three from five. Yeah, subtract three from five, right? Okay, A equals five. So you evaluate the left side. When A equals five, left side is a two, right? Right side is also two, so we keep the equality of the equation. All right, what else operation you can think of? Add. Addition, okay, so we can add anything, right? Okay, to save some time, so I just added. If you add three to the A, you should also add three to five, right? So that's left side still equals right side, okay? What else operation? What other operations? Multiply. Multiply. What do you want to multiply to A? Mm, two. Two, okay. All right, okay. So I'm going to show you how to solve one equation. And hopefully you can do something by yourself. All right, okay. So we have one equation here waited to be solved, okay. Can you read this equation for me? Solve equation x minus 12 equals 289 for variable x. Okay, all right, okay, so, all right, so according to our sentence, right, the key understanding here, the equality of the equation can be maintained as long as the same operation is performed at both sides, all right, okay, so we keep that in mind, and then let's say, okay, we need to find x, right, but the left side, x is being subtracted to 12, right? And we know x subtract 12 equals 289. So to solve for variable x means what? Means we find out x equals a number, right? So whatever this number is, okay, let's just put something there, okay? So we'll figure out that. But, okay, you compare, this is our goal. We need to find out x in this way, but in this equation, right, left side x is with something, right? If we can remove that part, and we got this, right? So let me ask you, what operation to x on the left side? Um left side yes left side of the equation what is happen to x on the left side 12 is being subtracted from x okay 12 has been subtracted to x right and if we can remove that subtraction we can get x itself right okay all right how can we this is an operation to x right x is being subtracted by 12. How can we reverse an operation? We add 12? Yes, we can add 12 to here, right? What I mean by reverse an operation means if you have some operation there, you reverse it by its opposite operation, okay? Opposite operation. So of course, the opposite of addition is subtraction, right? And the opposite of subtraction is addition. So you said add 12 to that very well. Okay, I should write it down, okay, here. Let's go, okay. So we add 12 to the left side and that way we can get X itself, right? 
So now, since I add 12 to the left side of my equation, if, imagine if you have a scale here, you add some side to the something to the left side of the scale, it's going to be unbalanced, right? So what do you need to do to the right side to balance this add 12? You add 12 to the other side. Yes, you also add 12 to the other sides, right? Remember the example we have, a equals five, you add three to both sides and then um, the left side still equals right side, right? And then according to this property of our equality, we can, we know, right, we can add 12 to both sides in the equation and we still keep the left side equals right side. All right. Okay, so by adding 12 left side, we have negative 12 and positive 12. They cancel out each other, right? So right side, what do you got? Um, 300. 300. I'm pretty sure the last digit. 301. Okay, 301. That's right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So one equation again. Quick sums. Show me quick sum if you understand what we did before. Okay, good job. All right, let's continue. So, all right, this one, we are going to do it together. Okay, so read the sentence for me. Read the problem to, for me, please. Solve equation 31y equals 713. Okay, so what is the variable there in this equation? Y. Okay. So on the left side, what operation is happened to Y? Multiply by 31. Okay, so Y is being multiplied, right? Okay. Right, I have a little problem with my touch screen. Multiply by 31. Okay. So if you have a multiplication. What is the reverse operation of multiplication? Division. Division. Okay, so from 31y here, okay, uh, maybe I shouldn't circle both sides, right? How do you reverse the multiplication by 31 to this y? You divide y by 31. You divide y by 31 or you divide the left side of the equation by 31? The left side of the equation. Excellent. Okay. So divide by 31. Okay. So now your left side has been de being divided by 31. Is your equation balanced after you divide left side with 31? You have to divide 713 by 31 too. Okay, so to keep your equation balanced, right? Okay, that's good. All right, okay. So, all right, I will just write what we discussed before here. Divide by 31 to the left side and right side, you should also divide by 31. Okay, now left side becomes what? After you divide by 31. Hello, Elena. The left side of your equation becomes what? I was finding it, 23. Oh, okay. So left side, you are dividing. I'm talking about left side, right? You have 30y divide, 31y divided by 31. What do you got? Y. Left, yeah, y. Left side just get y. And right side, you said what you got? 23. 23, okay, all right. How do we know 23 is the equation, uh, is the solution to the equation or not? How do mm -hmm. we know? You can multiply 31 by 23 and find it. Okay, so you can multiply 31 by 23 to see if your left side really equals 713, right? Okay, and then let's figure it out. So when y equals 23, the left side of the equation is 23 by 31. So that is what? 
All right. Um, sorry, repeat the question. Okay, this multiplication. 713. 713, okay. If you want to do long division, you can quickly do that, right? We have 23 and a 69 there. So 713, right? Okay. So right side of the our equation is 713. So do we have left side equal right side? Yeah. Okay, that's me. I need you to do some individual independent practice, all right? I have two little equation for you to solve. You can work on your worksheet and after you're done, you share it with me, okay? So I'm going to timer. Here I said I should give you five minutes. Let's see if you can beat five minutes. I'm going to timer three minutes. Let's see if you can do it, all right? Okay, after you're done, remember to share screen with me. Let's go. Equation, okay? So can you fix problem number two to show me this principle? We need to keep every step at the left side and right side of the equation in one equation. Okay. All right, I, th I think we need some bracket there because you have fractions, we need this thing here and that thing there. To keep it clear, right, we multiply seven to this fraction, not just to the denominator. Okay, next step. What your equation becomes? Okay. Excellent. Okay. All right. So see the just one step. You multiply by seven to to both sides of your equation, and it just become u equals three over two. That's our solution. Okay. All right. Let me ask you uh, for number two, Elena. What is the operation to your variable u at the left side? Divide by seven. So you reverse it by multiplying by seven, right? Okay, very good, okay. All right, my turn to share. I'm going to, okay, oh, 